Happy Saturday, people, and welcome to the Trumpet Master 77 show, episode number 13. I see we, right off the top, we've got four people in the chat already. Uh, I jumped on a little early today because we've got plans this uh, later this afternoon. So I'm not going to um, jump on my normal time, which is like 5 p.m., 6 p.m.-ish, I should say. But uh, hey, but we're doing this thing. So uh, cheers to you guys. Happy Saturday. I hope everybody's having a pretty good weekend so far. If, if you guys can hear me, give me a thumbs up. Or an okay or something. Um, okay, so let's see what we got going on. We've got Mr. Lep. Uh, Mr. Leprechaun TV in the house. Welcome, my friend. How's it going? How are you doing? I know you've been doing your thing. I know uh, uh, if, if you're ready for your boy, I think I might have. Well, actually, I think Thursday I've got something else uh, that's kind of going on in the back. Uh, so maybe here in a couple of weeks I'll be ready. Uh, but we'll we'll make that happen. Uh, we've got Mr. Alton, the man, the legend, uh, the jug giller. <laughs> Man, you got to start calling the thing the jug or not. The juggernaut. Because that jug ain't no joke, man. That jug. I love it too, man, because it's it's like a good, it's it's a very good flavor. Like, like my palate loves that shit. Like, it's, oh, it's, uh, the flavor. That's what makes it dangerous, though. That's what makes it dangerous. Um, but, you know, any rookie out there would really mess up messing with that thing, man. Welcome, anyway, Alton. Welcome, my friend. I'm looking very much forward to coming over to BBQ Boulevard and hanging out with with you and and um, anybody else that shows up. Um, damn good time, my friend. Damn good time. Sir, but, uh, saying hi to each other. Snowing, snowing already. Yeah, uh, up north. I've got a, uh, my 18 year old, he's up in uh, Montana State University, and he's sending me pictures of some crazy snowfall up that way. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I don't ever see that. We don't ever see that kind of snowfall here in Texas, down south. But, uh, you know, just seeing that stuff, and he didn't grow up around that kind of stuff. So, He's having to deal with it. I mean, that's a that's a big. He, he has to get acclimated to that because that's what he chose, and you know, that cold is a different kind of cold, man. Um, I talked to him. We had a Facetime Thursday night, um, and he said that the dry air is what's killing him. The dry air. So he's like, he's having to basically shower with lotion um, because the dry air is just splitting his skin all over his body, man, knuckles phase i mean just craziness I'm like no thanks no thanks uh when we dropped him off we moved him up up there and um you know drove him all the way up there a couple of days drive it was a nice road trip really was but uh you know let's just say mexicans ain't got no place up in montana not up in that high altitude no 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 you talk and and i've heard of people like having uh uh, altitude sickness and and issues breathing in it. I experienced that shit, man, and it was not it was not fun. That was that was pretty intense, man. I was like, what the hell? It's like because you're breathing, right? You're breathing, and and it's like I'm so used to breathing this south, uh, uh, you know, this Texas air that's humid and it's and it's shit, and we call it oxygen, right? I'm so used to that, where it's like you walk out in the morning and you can just cut, you know, in front of you and the, and the humidity and air just moves like this. And you can feel that shit coming into your lungs, right? Because that's what that's what I'm used to. That's what I've, I've lived, you know, uh, and experienced that all my life. So I went up to Montana and I'm walking and I'm just like, uh, that was some scary shit, man. I'm telling you, it was some scary shit. 
Okay. Yeah, we can do that. We'll, we'll, we'll touch base with that. Yeah, man, it's holiday time, so it's like, it's really crazy, you know, so many things that go on holiday time, and uh, yeah, I agree. Uh, we've got Nightbot in the house. Nightbot helps, you know, basically to moderate the chat channel. He's here to help. He's not here to block you out. He's not here to cock block anybody. He is here to help, okay? I know you guys have been in other chats where Nightbot uh, is just a bad experience, but you're going to have a fun experience with my bot on my channel today and every other Saturday. I promise you that, okay? We've got Mr. Uh, Steven um, in the house. What's up, man? <laughs> the pecking. Yeah. <laughs> It's all about that pecking, baby. Don't say a pecan, 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 or, or whatever. It's all about that pecking, baby. That's what we do. That's how we say it. It's pecking. P-E-K-I-N. Pecking. Pecking pie. I love that ice cream with some peckins. I've recently been turned on to some whiskey, Texas whiskey, um, with peckins. Pecking Texas whiskey. It's all about that pecking, baby. <laughs> Dude, hey, Lep, man, talk to, talk, have you ever been to Alton's? Come down to the next one, man. You want that jug? <laughs> I'll, tell you, I'll tell you this, dude, and I'll tell everybody, and I know that I've said it, and you guys have probably heard it, some of you guys in the chat have probably already heard me say it, but um, what I was, uh, um, when you get served an alcoholic beverage with a freaking bottle of water at the same time, <laughs> that's all I'm saying, man. That is all I'm saying. You're going to question it. You're going to what the hell is this for? No, don't question it. Just keep it because you will need it. Trust me. <laughs> Yeah. So for those of you that are just tuning in, uh, I jumped on live today, 3 p.m. Uh, I normally go on at 5, but I've got, you know, we've got some plans later. My 21 my year old is back from the Army, finally. Uh, we picked him up uh, Thursday, Thursday night from the airport. So I did miss some of you guys' lives. Uh, CJ was on live. BKC, I think I caught like, like three minutes of BKC. I was like, man, I'm on my way out. You know, we were heading out to the Austin airport, pick up my boy, and uh, picked him up, got home. <laughs> man, it was a late night. I don't stay up late like that anymore. I mean, like, I can't. And so, but I did, you know. And um, so, yeah, I missed out uh, on some of the chats and stuff on Thursdays, but, you know, I had some things going on. And uh, uh, so he's home now. Uh, so, Yesterday was his first full day back. Uh, so last night I, I, I grilled up a, a pretty good steak dinner. Uh, I did a video on it. Uh, it'll come out tomorrow. Uh, 10 a.m. ish, I think it was. I'm not 100%. I think it's around 10 a.m. So, um, so yeah, uh, that's how that went down. And then tonight, uh, one of my older brothers is having uh, a cookout, and we're going to go out to that. Uh, and uh, we'll probably head out that way about uh, 5 p.m. Normally the time that, we, that that I would normally be going live, but we're going to be going out to my brothers because he's having a cookout. I'm not sure how long we're going to be out there, guys, because there was a cold front that came through, and, and it's pretty damn cold. Uh, for me, anyway, um, I mean, I'm a Texan man, I'm not used to that, you know, two, three foot deep freaking snow. And that, that cold front came in yesterday, man. It was a big thunderstorm in front of it. I mean, it just, I got it pretty hard. I, Alton, are you still in the chat? Did you get that storm pretty bad yesterday? Um, and it, it hung around for um, a good five, six hours, I'm gonna say, and um. And behind it, man, came some cold temperatures. So I'm not too crazy about 
I love the cold. Don't get me wrong. I, I actually prefer it more than the summertime. I used to be a water rat, and I love the summertime. And I'm not about that anymore. I'm I'm just like, you know, I was done with summer like after the first week of summer this past year. It it was just I, I was just done. But uh, but yeah. So anyway, he's got bonfires out there. He's got this big. Uh, uh, one of those big, huge, inflatable uh, movie projectors. He goes out there and plays movies. Uh, and and we'll see how long we stay out there. I don't know. We'll see. But that's why I'm on early today, guys. And uh, like uh, Nightbot is saying, if anybody in here is new and they would like to promote their own channels, just type Trumpet in the chat and Nightbot will drop your link to your channel. Uh, okay. Man, I see that snow going down in Michigan, Nebraska. We've got a hey, smoky ribs, Mr. Russ in the house. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. I know you got them circles. You should have received those circle stars today. You know, I think I think you confirmed that earlier. Right uh, you're gonna love those, man. You're gonna love them. They're good. And the spicy, just because it says spicy, doesn't mean it's spicy. It's just uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll see what I'm talking about. But I say hi to you. Look at Alvin Shane. Welcome, my friend. Mr. Alvin Shane. Uh, there was an airplane crash at the at the air show in Dallas today. Was that today? That's never fun, man. Hope everybody was okay. Yeah. See everybody saying hi to each other here. We got my boy Johnny in the house. What's up, my friend Johnny? Uh, I know you, I, I've seen you out there hustling those uh, uh, those grills, those pellet grills, man. Like that last video that you did. Awesome. Just saying hi to each other. Warm today, guys. If you want to share your weather forecast, you can type "weather" in the chat, and Nightbot is going to share the weather in your location. Speaking of weather. If you would like to share your weather forecast, just type, uh, I'm sorry, weather and your zip code, weather and your zip code, and or your city, weather and your zip code or city. Nightbot's going to drop your weather forecast in the chat uh, if you guys want to share. Uh, man, that cold front killed my battery. Uh, I had to jump it to work at 4 a.m. Oh, my goodness, dude. I can't imagine that. That just sounds horrible. <laughs> it just sounds horrible. Um, man, I'll tell you. You know, I, I just, you know, I'm, I'm okay with this whole winter thing because when it's super cold outside, man, I'll just reach into, I'll, I'll just get my phone and I'll start my freaking car from my phone. I'm just like, I roll over and just kind of snooze a little bit. It's parked outside. It's not inside the garage, guys. I'm not. I'm not stupid. <laughs> but man, yeah, that that sounds like a horrible start to your day, man. Horrible start. Hopefully, it ends well with some jug. Hey, you've got that remedy. You've got that uh, prescription out there in your garage, man. Just get you some of that jug. And uh, hey, man, you're living. Oh, man, that's good. Uh, we've got uh, Johnny saying hi to uh, Sultan. We've got Scotty's Backyard in the house. Welcome, my friend. Uh, we've got uh, Alton saying hi to Johnny. There you go. Scotty did the thing. He typed Trumpet in the chat, and Nightbot dropped his link. If anybody new in here is not subscribed to Mr. Uh, Scotty, just click on that link and go hit him up. I did got two of them. Um... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, the rubs, awesome, awesome. Uh, we've got Mr. Al Lunacy in the house. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. Got okay, everybody's saying hi to each other. And again, guys, I know it's kind of strange somebody jumping on so early on a Saturday, but honestly, the only time that I have 
that works for me to do these lives is Saturdays. And that's that's why I that's why I do it. And I'm trying to stay consistent at it. You know, I haven't missed a day since I started doing Saturdays. Uh, this is number 13, as you can see in the ticker. So yeah, we're getting there, man. It's pretty cool. Have a lot of fun doing it. At the office now, Gene is bringing me a battery to put in now. Oh my goodness. So you're at work and the battery died there at work. Man, that, and that's the thing, dude. Like, that preventative maintenance that these car crews can't handle. Like, I like one of my vendors is up north in, in the Twin Cities area now. And they tell they tell me, like, we had a conversation about the, how cold it gets up there and the weather that they have to experience. And they told me that they actually have to put it gets so freaking cold up there that they actually have to put a uh some kind of anti-freeze uh that they have to put in their fuel in their fuel tank for gasoline so that the gasoline does not freeze i was like you gotta be shitting me are you serious they were serious man they were dead serious i'm not sure i understand <laughs> to freaking watch <laughs> uh, I used to go back inside, go go back to bed when that happened to me. Yeah, that, and that's very easy to do on a cold, cold morning like that. Oh, yeah. Scotty looks like shared his weather. Oh, well, he tried to. But the Nightbot reminded him he didn't provide a location. Uh, got down. Don't forget to thumbs up. Thank you, my friend. Uh, there, there goes cooking is uh, uh, Stephen. He did Trinidad and Tobago, and Nightbot is sharing his weather. He's he's rocking the eighties right now, guys. Eighty percent humidity. Equally, got Mister Niners Nation. What's up, buddy? I haven't seen you much, man. But you used to go live with these uh, uh, good fellas, but I, I have not seen you on their lives lately, man. You've been doing okay. You've been busy gaming. Hopefully, welcome. Weather from Race the what Rice Lake, Wisconsin. Twenty nine. Wow. Seventy seven percent humidity. We've got uh, Russ saying hi to Chuck. We've got Simone in the house. Welcome, my friend, San Antonio brother. The Stephen saying hi to Niners Nation. Simon, Al is doing the same thing. Okay, we've got Nightbot reminding everybody to hit that thumbs up. Uh, Simon's weather is uh, in San Antonio. Conditions are sunny with a temperature of 62 degrees. The wind is blowing from the north of 13 miles per hour, and the current humidity is at 26%. That 26% is not bad. Thought I replaced the battery two years ago. It turns out that that was her Jeep. This battery in my truck apparently is the original battery from 2018. Yeah, it's time for a new one. But doesn't that suck that the weather has to be the one to remind you? <laughs> that sucks, man. I hate that kind of crap, man. I'll tell you. I do. Hey, man, but it could be worse. You know, at least it's just the battery, right? And it's not one of them... $500 starters, man. Okay, we've got um, Mr. Camp House. How's it going out there, buddy? It looks like you've been busy. You had a damn good uh, hunting day. That, that buck was one hell of a buck. Uh, I don't know who it was that dropped it, but he got it on target, boy. That, I mean, that dude was just like. And fell right there. That's how you're supposed to do it. That is game. That was one hell of a shot. Because that was a huge block, man. That thing was massive. What did they drop that thing with, man? He got it right where he needed to get it. I cannot believe that that dude, like, got it. And it just fell like a wet towel right there. Just, I mean, that was badass awesome got a 14 pound brisket of her uh smoke fire been on since 3 a.m okay 
I don't know. How do you like that that uh that web fire pellet grill? I don't know how it does that sometimes. You guys didn't see that, but it like this zooms in real fast. Something with the mouse, I think. Get it, get it, that cold beer. Oh, trust me, if you got Mr. Nightbot, he's gonna remind us when it's time to get a cold beer. <laughs> We got Brother Sultan. I've got a couple of other uh, formulas that I need to try out tonight, guys. So here in a minute when I get caught up. Then there's Randy. Uh, yeah, really, that's a good question. Randy and Christy, they're both missing. What is going on? Anybody have their cell phone numbers? Text them. They're involved in all these chats. I'm surprised they're not on here. Uh, Russ. You gotta do weather and then your zip code or your city. And then Nightbot will will drop the your weather forecast. <clears throat> and I knew I was in for it when it hesitated yesterday after I got off. This morning cranked and the engine said shit. <laughs> Dude, I you know I I saw your truck when we pulled up and I was like, man, I miss mine. Like I used to have a, a fire uh the color of it was the fire red is what it was called and i missed that truck man it was you know full-blown uh four-door huge cab um man but it was a lemon dude i had so many issues with the transmission on that thing i was so pissed i went through two transmissions in that damn thing and i i know that nobody out there has experienced that i'm just saying that when my transmission went out the first time uh, they put a new one in it, and, or or and they say they put a new one in it, but then it went out. It, it went out again, and uh, dude, I I was so heartbroken when that happened. Love my truck, my Ram. I'll tell you which one I want to jump into. There's those new uh, Tundras. Those new Tundras. I don't, there's probably a lot of haters out there on that Tundra, but. Man, that new Tundra, I, I like that new Tundra. I saw an orange one the other day, and it had all the black uh, grill and trims. Oh, man, that thing nasty, man. I liked that. <sighs> Going after a bigger one today than that huge buck? Dude, that thing was massive, man. That thing was huge. Guys, I'm popping open uh, Jungling is what I'm on right now, guys. Traditional lager right here in the koozie. Uh, and right here, I'm sipping some uh, uh, mango rum with a little bit of Coca-Cola from my boy Panchuco. I, I don't see him in the chat. But, yeah, salute, guys. Yeah, that'll that should do it if you hit it right where you need to. Man, some of these wild animals though, like you hit them and right where they're supposed to drop and they won't. And it's almost like a bad dream. If, if you guys in the chat, if you ever had a dream where you're kind of like in a fist fight and you're throwing everything you have at this person and you were just trying to hurt them, and just in your dream, it's just like slow motion and you're not doing any kind of damage. And they're basically, you're landing. You're landing every shot. I mean, you you were just landing everything, right? And they're basically just laughing at you. Like, <laughs> in slow motion. <laughs> Man, it's like that when you shoot some of these wild animals. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> ah! No way. <laughs> and they're still like chilling. That's why I was super impressed with that shot on that huge buck. That that was impressive. It really was. Those that don't know, know what I'm talking about. Well, those that know, know what I'm talking about. That was impressive. That's how you're supposed to do it right there. I stood still for so long, I thought it was fake. What? It stood still for so long, I thought it was fake. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. That big buck. You're talking about that big buck. It was just like this. While everybody else was eating and chilling, it was like he was on the lookout because he knows. You know, he was he was just right there. Just, okay. I ain't going to be nobody's bitch. I ain't going to be nobody's bitch. <laughs> I 
I'm not making fun of it, man. I'm I'm really not, but but man, that's that's kind of the way it was. I'm just like, wow, man. Damn good shot, man. That's all I'm saying. Damn good shot. And it, and from the looks of it, it didn't it didn't look like he like damaged a lot of the meat after taking that shot. You know, it was it was legit, legit. I love the way we're smoky fire. So amazing. Turns out great BBQ. That thing, it, does it grill out pretty good, Scotty? You can do some like hot and fast steaks on that thing, right? Because it's so open in the bottom. I haven't seen any cooks like that. We've got Russ sharing his weather, 39532. There we go. Weather in Biloxi, Mississippi. Uh, Russ, do you say Mississippi or do you say Mississippi? Mississippi. Anyway, weather for Biloxi. Conditions are cloudy for, uh, with a temperature of 53. The wind is blowing from the north at 13 miles an hour. Current humidity is 78%. Yeah, that's that's definitely hoodie weather for me, man. Niners Nation, two one seven eight four. Uh, uh, Niners Nation. If you're gonna do the weather, it's got to do weather space, and then your zip code. Do a space bar between your weather and your zip code. Um, if you guys want to promote your own channels, just type trumpet in the chat. Nightbot will drop your link. There you go. Smoky Ribs is on it. Oklahoma weather two one eight eight one seven. I don't. I don't think that'll work right there, buddy. It's just just the weather space bar. Um, uh, zip code. Man, I love my fifteen hundred. Yeah, I, I miss mine, dude. I loved it so much, man. I'm telling you, dude. I mine was chromed out, dude. It was uh, it had the chrome grill. It had the chrome wheels. Twenties. It was rocking them twenties. Uh. I didn't have the leather interior, but but it was that two-tone fabric, the seats, and it was just, oh, man, it was nice. Uh, man, but I was so pissed off at that. Uh, the year model, I guess, had. they were telling me that that year model had a lot of transmission issues. <sighs> okay. 12 year anniversary tomorrow. Okay, cool. What are you guys doing? Anything on that pizza oven? Going out to eat, probably. Uh, Steve Mack. Steve Mack, welcome. I, I've never seen you in the chat that I remember, but welcome. If you want to promote your channel, type trumpet in the chat so we can check out what it is that you do. And uh, I appreciate you stopping by, my friend. Uh, don't forget to like button and subscribe. The dog Dogfather's BBQ. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Congratulations, man. Yeah, hey, we got CJ Yak in the house. CJ Yak. I missed your live the other night, buddy. I, I went to go pick up my boy from the airport. Uh, and that's how I missed it. That's that's why I missed it, man. I missed the whole thing. But I look I looked like you were just on there for about a good hour. It looked like you had a pretty good I did catch the rewind. I I did watch it the next day. Yeah, we're talking about, uh, and I know you're probably thinking I'm full of shit when I said I caught the rerun, but you can pop quiz me. You can pop quiz me, Yak. I know what you said throughout that whole thing. I watched it the next day while I was sitting in the comfort of my own home working, and I had it I had it rocking. It was playing. You were talking about uh, what, what, what kind of whiskeys or what kind of drinks we go to, or what, what plans you guys had for Thanksgiving, and... Uh, if y'all were going to stick to the traditional or, or doing something completely different type stuff. Yes. Uh, everybody's saying hi to CJ. Uh, CJ saying hi to Alton. Yes, he does. I have a few videos from reverse searing and steak and burgers. Let's check that out, man. You know, they used to sell those over at Lowe's. I have not seen them. Like, they stopped selling them over here at Milo's anyway. It was like, they used to have them in there, though. What they're really pushing is that Pit Boss stuff, though. That's what they're really pushing. <sighs> hey, guys, got to run. All right, take care of him. Happy birthday. Mississippi. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Mississippi. 
<laughs> leave the other two S's out of that second I out. Mississippi. <laughs> That's awesome. There we go, Niners Nation. There's your weather forecast. Just for you, my friend. I'm going to go ahead and read it out. Just for you, my friend. Weather for Sykesville. Conditions are cloudy with the temperature 65 degrees. Wind is blowing from the west southwest at two miles an hour. And the current humidity is at 63%. Uh oh. What is Mr. Nightbot talking about here, guys? What is he saying? <laughs> Time for another cold beer. <sighs> so we've got, what else is he saying? Oh, oh, he's letting you know that I have a TikTok channel and you're more than more than welcome to follow me on that TikTok channel if you'd like. Click that link and subscribe. It's that easy. It didn't cost you anything. Uh, I have some really cool stuff in there. You got dog father trying to share his uh, forecast here. Uh, I think you're in Austin right now, right, Alton? Uh, yeah, there we go. Weather for Alton. Conditions are sunny with a temperature of 56. The wind is blowing from the north at 11 miles an hour. And the current humidity is at 33%. Nice. Don't know what the... <laughs> what these are for? I don't, oh, I don't know what I said. Or, but yeah, I got you. There's Mr. Shifter. Mr. Randy Shifter. Where you been, bro? We, when you taking a nap, man, I'm over here drinking cold beers and drinking whiskey. Waiting for my boy, and I never saw you. I never saw you. I was even going to throw you a blue snap on wrench, my friend. I was even going to throw you a blue snap on wrench. I'll throw it to you anyway. How about that? How about that? How about that? <laughs> Welcome, dude. Uh, Smokey Rib saying hi to Randy. We've got Mama and Papa Joe saying it's all good, man. Oh, you were laughing at me talking about me watching the rerun the next day if you're live. It was just an hour. So, I mean, dude, I've got eight to ten hours to listen to stuff like that. So, I'm just going to play them. But you guys get your watch times. Trust me on that. Thursday nights, I have like five tabs open. And I'm going from live to live to live to live. And I'll, you know, throw a little note in there on every one of them. Uh, but but I do have them muted at times just because it gets a little crazy sometimes. Uh, yeah. That, guys, I did I did some badass steaks last night, guys. I, I got some really thick uh, prime ribeyes from HEB. And man... Dude, I, I cooked him up hot and fast on that a Rectech, baby. Rectech, bullseye, 380. Oh my goodness, man. I put that uh, that 20 uh, that 22 inch uh, cast iron grill grate on there. Got it hot and fast, man. Four minutes on each side. Damn, dude. Wait till you guys see these steaks. Perfect. Got Alvin Shane saying hi to Mr. Randy. Randy saying hi to Alton. Oh, here's a new one. Here's a new one from Mr. Nightbot. Uh, if you guys want to feel free to take a look at my link tree, click on the link and check it out. We've got Mario in the house. Welcome. West Coast in the house. Yes, sir. That sounds awesome. I've got a... I've got to cook that I got to do tomorrow, actually. Now, guys, I'm going to go ahead and spill the beans on something. I, I probably, I'm really not supposed to spill it until Thursday because that's what they had asked me to do. But, I, I mean, I'm going to do it my way. So, so here's the thing. Uh, you know those little grill, griddles from uh, Monument Grills? They sent me one to um, check out and... And they're wanting me to do a giveaway. Like, uh, you know, it probably sounds pretty familiar to a bunch of you guys. But uh, so that's what's going to be going on next week. So I'm going to be giving away three uh, flat top griddles uh, on my next live next Saturday. Uh, 
I, I get to film a cook on, on the grill that they sent me. Um, and I'm going to promote it on my channel. And it'll drop Thursday. That video is going to drop Thursday. And that's just going to promote like the giveaway for the upcoming Saturday, which is next Saturday. Um, and we're just going to do it like that, guys. There's going to be three winners. And there's two different kind of griddles that, that are going to be given away. Um, so two of them are going to be identical, but then there's one that's, that's, uh, I guess a little nicer because it comes, um, with a foldable, uh, lid that comes on top. It's all stainless, right? The complete griddle. Um, but it's three of them that, that I'll be giving away. So, uh, the rules are going to be just simple guys. Just, just be subscribed to my channel. Get subscribed to, uh, Monument Grills. Um, I'm going to be promoting it on my Instagram. I went live on TikTok last night, guys, just to promote that and just kind of let people know. Uh, and, you know, it, it's you can keep it for yourself. I mean, we're right. We're right outside of the holidays, right? It's it's almost holiday time. And if you don't want it, hey, they make a great gift. They're they're fantastic little cookers. Um, I, you know, I, I cooked up some, you know, I seasoned it today. And I cooked for the very first time on it after I, I did some breakfast out there. I did some bacon and eggs, cooked it up real nice and fast. Uh, I like the little grill. It's it's really nice. It gets lots of BTU under that cast iron uh, plate. Lots of heat that hits it. Um, but but yeah, that's what's going on, guys. Uh, next week, I'll. So this week, I'm going to be promoting it on you. You'll see it on my Instagram. Those of you that follow me on Instagram or TikTok or whatnot. You guys will see it. Um, I'm probably going to put it on the community tab here on YouTube as well. Uh, uh, I, I'll upload some stuff and to my live next weekend, uh, next Saturday. That's when I'll be giving them away. And the way I'm going to do it, there's a couple of... And I kind of wanted to talk about uh, the way I'm going to give them away. Um, do... The last giveaway I did, it was just a random night bot to pick the winners, and I, I think that worked out great. I mean, uh, you know, I just dropped the command, and uh, <clears throat> Nightbot just randomly picks a winner. But the way that Nightbot is set up on that command is the people that are active within 10 minutes, a 10-minute uh, allotted time frame, uh, or, or, or what Nightbot grab pulls a winner from. So, like for instance, if you're watching the live and and you're not active in the chat, uh, when I drop the command, uh, Nightbot's not even gonna see your name in that list of winners, potential winners. So you would have to be uh, active in the chat. You know, just be active. If you guys want to win, just be active in the chat. So that when I drop the win the the command, uh, Nightbot sees everybody's name and randomly picks one of y'all's. <clears throat> so that's the plan for next week, guys. If you guys are interested, uh, share it out. Let people know. I'll I'll put some more stuff on it. Uh, but they're great little cookers, guys. You can cook a lot of food on these damn things. Seriously. Oh, we got Christy in the house. Welcome, Christy. Okay, two hours ago, I picked a prime tri tip from HEB. That is hella fine marble. Nice, man. So, when you say hella fine marble, does that mean that uh, you saw quite a bit of fat on it? Is it a fat cow, you think? Or a bull? <laughs> hella fine marble. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta, I'm gonna have to, dude. <laughs> I have to create a command off that shit, yeah. Hello, fine marble. That is awesome. We got Big Daddy. Big Daddy's in the house, guys. Welcome. Welcome, Big Daddy. Uh, so I'll be promoting it on my Instagram and on my YouTube and on TikTok. I'm going to go live throughout the week and just kind of show it. I've got a cook going on tomorrow on it. Uh, I will be going live on TikTok tomorrow. 
uh, because I have a lot of more love on TikTok. Uh, when I go live on TikTok, guys, I have like two or 300 people watching me because I guess they love me because they see that I'm a swell guy, that I'm really cool, I guess. <laughs> Just bullshit with y'all. Uh, probably because so many people are on TikTok and they see they see the live going on. But seriously, there's a lot of people that like to watch those lives on TikTok. So uh, tomorrow, uh, while I'm filming a cook on this thing, and I'm gonna I, I'm gonna uh, I'm going to also in between shots go live on TikTok, you know, and talk more about it, you know, about the giveaway. And if hey, if you guys want one of these griddles, you can cook this, you can cook that. It comes out fantastic. It burns nice, hot, and fast. Subscribe to me on YouTube. Yeah, let's do that. And follow me because next weekend when I go live, you can be the proud owner of one of these. And if you don't want it, you can give it away for a gift right right before Christmas if you want, you know. It's kind of the idea behind that. Um, so that's what I'll be working on this week, guys. If anybody's interested. All right, we've got uh, give us a link for the Monument Grills. Uh, check my check my link tree. Uh, it's in there. Uh, Nightbot dropped my link tree earlier. If you scroll up in the chat. Nightbot dropped a, a, a message earlier that said, "Hey guys, check out check out my link tree. Look, I'll highlight it right here. Click that. I think that's going to be at the very top right now because that's the, that's the most recent one that I've added on there. Those are all my affiliates in there. So if you guys want to order anything that you see on there, be sure you order it through those links. Okay." <laughs> Those are the only links that work because everybody else's links are broken. Okay, so if you guys want to click my link tree and go go to my affiliates, all those, and if you want to order anything out of there, be sure you order it through those links. Very important. But yeah, uh, Alvin Shane, if you wanted that uh, link to Monument Grills, it's in my link tree. If it's not, uh, be sure you put it right here on the, on the chat. But I think it's in there. I think I put it in there. Uh, those pork chops look so damn good. Yes, sir. Man, let me tell you something. Now, I love me some pork chops, guys. I, I do. Like, you know, thin, nice and crisp, just pan fried chops, open fire grilled chops. Uh, these chops that, that we do here, this it's just a pork loin that's just cutting the, uh, you know, steaks, really. Honestly, it's just steaks. Pork steaks, honestly. Um, they're, uh, it's, it, it's just, a, it's just like a, a pork loin chop is what we call them. And then I just grill them hot and fast. Just like I do a steak. Just like I do a steak. Um, and so... Um, you cook them nice and hot and fast. The only difference is, like on a steak, I'll flip the 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 pork loin chop. They're they're fat guys. They're they're real thick. They're like that man. They they really are. And on those, I don't flip them. I just let them go till they hit that internal temp that I want, and that's it. Uh, all right. Yeah. They they were good. They were very good. Uh, that. Uh, well, we all know that uh, PS seasoning has a top-notch product, right? And and that uh, that cherry sauce is is very very good. And that combined with that uh, notorious PIG is fire on chops, baby. It was good. It was real good. Uh, okay, we've got time to say, am I able to win one of those price price pri prizes? Since I have 11 from Triple B, there are any? Since I have 11 from Triple B. Hmm. I'm assuming you're saying, am I able to win one of those since I won one from Triple B? Dude, all you got to do, all you got to do is be active in the chat. I, I don't care what you have or where you won one before. Um, yeah, yeah, for sure. It's not up to me. It's up to Nightbot, man. If he picks your name, hey, congrats. <laughs> Congratulations. 
I got you, man. I'll follow you. Yeah. Uh, we've got Daddy Dutch saying hi to Sultan. We've got Daddy Dutch saying hi to Mr. Shifter. Cool arrow. Cool arrow? Question? Cool arrow. Are you, are you calling somebody a culero? <laughs> is that just... Is that, is that a different way to call somebody a culero, bro? <laughs> just messing with you, man. Maybe you're talking to somebody else in the chat. If anybody else knows what that's about, holla at it, player. We got Judge Webb saying hi to Christy. Everybody wants to promote their channel. Again, I think at this point, we're all subscribed to each other. But if you're not, feel free to drop the word trumpet in the chat. And it drops your link. Pink cheese, cool arrows. You motherfuckers. Y'all don't mess with me, man. <laughs> I got you. Hey, but keep that in mind for when Sleeper goes back live. We'll have him read that. <laughs> we'll, we'll have him read it, like, really fast. That'll be awesome. <laughs> hey, which reminds me, guys, uh, at work, like, you know, I deal with outside vendors a lot, um, I don't want to share what it is that I do for a living, but I do deal with a lot of outside customer, outside vendors. And uh, one time I thought that I shared semi good news for somebody's project. And this person responded with grassy ass. Like she spelled grassy and then space ass. Like, oh shit, I think I just pissed her off. Well, I, I did a little bit of asking around and, uh, you know, <laughs> they were happy. <laughs> I'm turkeyed out, 34 birds today. I'm having sushi. There you go, buddy. Guys, don't hold it. If you got to go pee pee, go pee pee. Nightbot understands what's up. <sighs> Man, that's good. Got Mike in the house. What's up, my friend? Welcome. Got a Twitch out there, guys, if you want to follow that. Uh, what's up, Trumpet? King of the Shorts. Uh, yeah, man, them shorts are something else, aren't they? We'll have to. I was going to talk to Lance about that. I think more to come on that. Uh, we've got the starving pig in the house, my my boy Darnell. What is going on with you, buddy? You been that busy? I ain't seen you in a minute, man. What's up? You guys want to jump in? Let me get caught up with this chat, and I'll drop the link if anybody wants to. I have a terrible voice for voice to talk. Oh, I got you. Yeah. My, my voice is terrible anyway. I mean, it goes all over the fucking place, honestly. Uh, be nice to Nightbot. Yeah. Nightbot's awesome. Mine is, anyway. Uh, yeah, I got it. I picked up on that, man. Very clever. Very clever. That's like that one joke where, where the teacher was like telling all these kids they had to use the words. Excuse me. They had to use words. Liver and cheese in a sentence for their uh, for their homework or something like that and I, I might be getting this joke wrong and you guys probably have heard it before but uh, everybody was like you know making little sentences one little girl comes up and says we had liver and cheese for dinner last night you know and, and so on and uh, you know and all this and that I hate liver but I love cheese and little Mexican kid in the back like like this little girl, and he's like, liver alone, cheese mine. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> it's stupid, but I, I just get a kick out of that shit, man. Liver alone, cheese mine. Although I would like uh, to hear Guga telling it. You know, I'm still working 
behind the scenes on my new channel that I'll be launching. It's called Luga. Luga. And it's basically going to uh, mimic every one of Guga's cooks. And it's going to be fantastic, man. It's going to be a lot of fun. Because you were saying you were cool on TikTok. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's awesome. Matter of fact, the first time I went live on TikTok was uh, a couple of weekends ago when I was at Alton's uh, Throwdown. And uh, I went live and I was like, oh, my God. Look at the numbers that are watching us, guys. This is insane. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. Hello, Daddy Dutch. Uh, Niners dropping trumpet. If everybody wants to go to check out Mr. Niners' channel, there it is right there. Yeah. I don't know where he's at tonight. I mean, he should be on here. Probably lurking in the background, making sure we're not seeing, making sure we're not talking about him. He's like, I'm serious, guys. I, I'm going to lurk in the background. And if they say something about me, I'm going to jump in. <laughs> Just messing with you, Lance. I see you, buddy. I see you back there. <laughs> no idea what the hell that was. Okay. We've got... Uh, Christy in the house, nothing but love mail strip at the gentleman club. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Could be done. Uh, I have a pick of a grassy ass that I send to people. Yeah, so you know where I'm talking about, right? You know what I'm talking about. Has anybody heard from Triple B, man? I, I, you know, he's been, uh, I guess, really busy at work or whatnot, but he's been pretty absent ever since. Ever since uh, CJ's, he he had CJ on his live. He's been pretty absent since then. So, uh, B, if you're out there, man, BB Cool World is wondering, brother. Say hi, man. Got nothing but love, laughing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I didn't know what it was. Of, that's the funny part. I didn't know what it was. Like, oh, shit, I think I pissed this person off, you know? I thought they were calling me an ass, some kind of an ass, you know? I was like, what the hell? Sort of like what Mexicans wear on their feet. Shoes. Mm, I don't know, man. Are you... I, I must have missed that. Did I miss something, guys? All right, we got Daddy Dutch. Uh, everybody saying hi. Man, already? Nightbot, already? Okay, if you say so. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully everything's okay, and he's just working a lot, and um, everything's good. <sighs> No. That's all good, man. I dig that. I can relate to that. It's going to be done in about four hours. Nice. Okay. Red pad leather shoes. Red pad leather shoes. <laughs> He's probably trying to get the oil out of the ground before Biden shuts this country. <laughs> That's fucked up, man. <laughs> Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. That shoes. Shoes. <laughs> That's like, I was like, I was like Mexicans, man. And, you know, I am too, okay? You know, I, you know, I, there's a lot of history in me, right? And it's like, um, you hear a couple of Mexicans talking, you know, drama, and it's just like, you know, and, and, and I tell it, I tell it you something, but I tell it to him, I tell it to him, I gonna, I gonna slap him, but he tell it to me, he wanna kick me. Fucking fantastic, man. Fan freaking fantastic. Got, uh, welcome to Trumpet Master 77 show. 
Mario saying, so I used some Lunker Jack 100% uh, hickory pellets and got plenty of smoke flavor on my chuck rolls. Is it true that pellet grills can have issues running 100% single pieces of wood pellets? Not sure what uh, what sites you've been chatting on. Um, but I will tell you this. I will tell you this. And not because I'm trying to... Uh, uh, steer you into my... Uh, my link tree to order some Bear Mountain pellets. Perhaps. But uh, but I will tell you this. Um, I've never heard of that. So I don't know what chats you've been following or, or wh who you've been talking to. But I do know this. 100%. And I'm not knocking on Naughty Wood at all, guys. I'm not knocking on Naughty Wood. I think they have a fantastic product. I think they have something really good. But they are fruit trees. Because he's running uh, the plum pellet and the... Uh, I think it's the almond wood. Now, their pellets leave this hard like sap looking thing inside your fire pot so if you're running knotty wood pellets uh be sure that you clean out that fire pot because uh that big old lump of i forgot what they call it I'm, and i'm not bullshitting you i forgot what they called it um that their pellets leave behind in your fire pot and he'll tell you the same thing it's, this is no bullshit. I'm not knocking on them. This is a true thing. If you're running 90 wood pellets, better check that fire pot, man, because it leaves this big old glunk of, of hard, sappy looking shit in there. And I forgot what it was called. But that's 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 the only thing that I know. Uh, I've never I've never heard anything about using 100 percent single pieces of wood pellets uh, affecting your pellet smoker. That it sounds like a bunch of horse shit. Uh, there's somebody out there, you heard this from somebody that can't stand pellet grills. I'm going to tell you that. Uh, not only do they not, they can't stand pellet grills, um, they wish they had a pellet grill. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say there. I've never, ever heard anything like that. I need a new pair of shoes. Yeah. Guessing that's why most are mixed. No. No. Now, Russ is probably laughing at the chews or the pellet comment up here. I don't know. Or both. Let's see, I use Lumberjacks or Pit Boss in my purple smoke. Well, I get a good amount of smoke. How are things got Mr. Smiling Swine, my brother? Keep an eye out for a video that's dropping tomorrow, but I used your rub steak and chop on a fantastic steak cook that I did last night. My son came home from the Army Thursday night really late. Um, and I did a, a, a really good steak dinner for him for dinner uh, uh, last night. Uh, and Smiling Swine's Steak Chop put these steaks to another level, guys. If, if you guys, as a matter of fact, let me see if this works. As a matter of fact, if anybody wants to try this stuff, uh, I think that's the command. There it is, right there. Uh, Nightbot just dropped that link, guys. Click that link to Smiling Swine BBQ and pick you up some of that steak chop. If you're a steak lover, you gotta try it with that steak and chop, guys. And that's where you can get it right there. Nightbot just dropped it. Nightbot just dropped that link. Or you can go to my link tree and find it from there too. Uh, so he's here and he's getting kind of acclimated to everything. It's kind of weird. Uh, uh, he actually drove his car in the neighborhood for a little bit. It's been like a freaking almost a year that he hadn't driven it, you know. And it was just kind of strange for him. So, but yeah, he's back, man. Everything's cool. And I've got my Montana boy will be here next weekend, next Sunday. Uh, so, so it, it'll be pretty good for Thanksgiving this year, guys. Everybody will be here. Uh, Natty Wood is fine in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I saw people having issues with Natty Wood pellets. Yeah, and it's that fruit tree. It's all that sap, I think, that uh, he explains it. I forgot what the, he calls it. But, uh, man, dude, I'm not, I'm not hating on that product, but. 
I am not gonna put anything in my cooker that's gonna do that. Sorry, I'm not. If it, if I do, I'm gonna mix it up with something else and then run it, but I'm not gonna do that. Uh, all right, I'm back. Just trying to get that pit started and rib seasoned. Oh yeah. I was laughing, talking drama like a <laughs> he tell it to me. He tell it to me. It's funny. Like he told me, no, he tell it to me, and I tell it to you because he tell it to you too. Bester. <laughs> Bester. <laughs> right there, guys. Click on that link and get yourself some of that smiling swan steak and chop. He's got uh, four other flavors as well. There's garlic jalapeno, which rocks. Uh, I just check out his site, man. He's got a rib rub. He's got a brisket rub. Fantastic stuff. I sure will, my brother. I actually, yesterday, because he was in there, um, I, was, I was seizing up the steaks. And he was like, hey, what is this? And it was like, oh, you know, this is, you know, he's he's veteran. You know, he, he's veteran-owned company. Matter of fact, he, you know, I used to, because on Instagram, we chat, you know, uh, you know, we used to talk about you actually, you know, we asked, you know, and, and stuff like that. So it was, it was kind of cool, but man, hope you're doing all right out there, man. Uh, we are, we use mostly pit boss pellets. Oh yeah. Now, I'm on, I'm on the, uh, I'm on the bear mountain pellets, man. I'm affiliated with them. They have a fantastic product. Uh, there's a lot of pellet companies out there that have a fantastic product. Uh, I, I haven't had any issues with any 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 of the Bear Mountain pellets. Uh, I did those uh, steaks last night with some pecan pellets because it was the same pecan pellets the hopper still had from when I did the uh, uh, the pork chops uh, the night before. So I still had some of those pecan pellets in the hopper and. Uh, Man, I'll tell you, they were they were great, man. They came out great. Oh, there's my link tree. A lot of cool stuff in there, guys. There's a uh, there's a lot of stuff coming um, with some of the links that you see in there. Uh, um, I've got a yeah, yeah. So if you if you click into that and you see. A lot of the stuff that's in there, there's, there's lots of uh, content coming, I should say, on on a lot of those products. Can I get Bird Mountain here? Wish I could. You better watch out. You keep talking like those Mexicans in high school with the port and nalgas. It was funny, dude, that you mentioned that. Uh, we were young, dude. We were like a couple of years out of high school and. Uh, we were we were doing these uh, uh, apartment remodels in Austin. Right, and my brother actually the brother that I'm going. His name's Alex. Going out there tonight uh, for dinner uh, for his cookout, and he was driving a suburban at the time. And dude, we we stopped. There was this one morning we were on our way out there, and we stopped at this gas station, and we were gonna get you know like breakfast stuff and or whatever you know. Was getting gas and then he got gas and he pulls up i think it was a 7-eleven and this freaking car dude pulls up and blocks us as he's trying to back out so he's backing up and his car pulls up Sir! dude these white cops jump out and they come up to our windows like are y'all american citizens <laughs> america motherfucker america y'all american citizens we busted out fucking laughing dude it was fucking insane we didn't even answer the guy. And he got pissed off, gets in his car, and he takes off. Man, he was hunting for some Mexicans that morning, I'll tell you. It was crazy, man. Crazy, I'll tell you. Of course, it was a suburban full of Mexicans. Me, my brother, and a few other Mexican buddies of ours. <laughs> no, I took that back. There was one white guy in there, too. Uh, Kevin was his name. That shit was hilarious. Yes, sir, man. Yes, sir. Oh, we've got, let's see, we've got uh, Smile Smile, 1 a.m. here, going to hit the rack. Take care, man. Be safe out there. 
Uh, he's overseas right now working, guys. He's on the other side of the world working, uh, doing that thing out there. And uh, so uh, the video that I dropped tomorrow, uh, I used his product. His product is what I used. The Steak and Chop is the, is my go-to steak seasoning. Uh, if anybody in the chat has used it, uh, you know what I'm talking about. It's just really, really good stuff, guys. Really, really good stuff. Um, let's see, we're at four o'clock. Let me go ahead and I'm going to drop this link. If anybody wants to jump in and chat, I've got a little bit of time left. I've got about 30 minutes left that I can stay on. But if anybody wants to jump on and shoot shit, we can do that. But, uh, let me find something here real quick. Let me push pause on this note, okay? I'll be back. And I'm back. And I am back. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, <laughs> that's so weird. It dropped like after I. Okay, that. Okay, yeah, I timed it because I was testing it. I guess it's working out pretty good, guys. There's a link if anybody wants to jump on and shoot some shit. Don't be shy. No reason to be shy. Time for another cold beer. Yes, sir. No, not here, my friend. I guarantee you. <sighs> yes, sir. I done did. Oh, show. Or as Google would say, I was drinking some cold beers and I had stuffed a stick of butter in my cold beer. And all of a sudden, this happened. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> so, did anybody see his new uh, video that he just came out with, where uh, he had cooked some steaks, or he was having a, a steak comp against some other big guy? I don't remember. Him, but he was talking. He was actually talking smack about the grill marks on the steak. He was like, "I don't even like grill marks because basically, all that is is." Burned a steak. That's like what? What? I do something else, man. So you'd rather eat a cow penis, a bull penis, instead of grill mark steak? Seriously? Unbelievable. I cannot believe it. That is insane. Let's do it. So come on everybody. Let's go put let's go put the charcoal in the cooker and let's do it. I like to take this butter and add these spices to it. And oh my god, it is so good. <laughs> Today we're just good. What? Today we're cooking just to cook. Two racks of baby racks. Man. Yeah man, do that. It's good to do that every now and then. Just chill. Yeah, I think so. All right, guys, have a good one. Get in the rest of some cast iron and side hustle for a part-time job. 
Good. Hey, that's awesome, man. Alvin Shay. Take care, man. Appreciate you stopping by. <sighs> Say and talking about that. Okay. So, uh, I said, I don't even like grill marks on a steak because basically that it means that it's burnt a steak. And talking about that, I like to get butter and cover this steak with it. Agreed. Not Guga. Guga said it's burnt a steak. <laughs> It'd be awesome if you jumped on here. Guga Foods. I like sure. I, I do too, man. I like it around the edges of that steak. Wait till you see those steaks tomorrow. That's what I'm talking about. Wait till you see those steaks tomorrow. Probably some kind of chef, you know. He cooks a lot of stuff like hot and fast on charcoal, which I like. I mean, I you, know, you get fantastic results on a lot of that stuff. But I think he's more like a like a chef, right? Isn't he like a kitchen chef or something like that? <laughs> yeah, Luga. I know that most of you people have heard about this guy impersonating me named Guga, but I am the real guy, and my name is. Luca, and talking about that, I like to make a compound butter. So let's do it. <laughs> that was fucking great. That was fucking great right there. And talking about that, yeah. I just need a couple nephews that can, a couple of nephews that can, um, that can taste test my food. Maybe I can get, uh, Branty Shifter up here to be one of them. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm one of his nephews. <laughs> what do you think, Randy? What do you think about this compound butter a steak? Turn this on the compound butter and soup and soup it in. Now, see, when there's a word that ends with S that's silent, it's more like a, a, a foo foo, a foo foo, right? It's like a suva, a suva day. I'm like, come on, man. What the hell? You got? We from Texas, man. What the hell are you talking about? A fufu? <laughs> Compound butter. Is that, what's that one that he likes? The Irish cream butter. <clears throat> and talking about butter, I like to put butter on my feet because in the morning, it's, oh my God, look. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's freaking awesome. Guys, okay, so I've got a couple of other uh, formulas that I wanted to try. Bear with me here. Let me see if anything happens when I do this, okay? Now, this is a test. This is a test. If you ever... Uh, okay, uh, what? That's how we do it. Add uh, timer moments of this plus one line of time bomb check. Okay, now that was a test, guys. Let me try something else. Invalid time zone specified for this tab. Uh, okay, let me try something else, guys. I mean, it's just a stupid one, really. Probably ain't gonna work. I don't know. But that's why we do these things, because we have to, yeah, it's the adcom, the time and valid time zone specified for a list of times. Yeah, I, I don't think that one's gonna work. Okay, okay, I'm gonna get rid of that one. Um, there's another one that I did. Uh... Oh. oh, is that right? <laughs> oh, thanks, Smoky Ribs. Thanks for sharing that. <laughs> no, this is more for like, uh, like Stephen and Jacqueline, people that are like not in the U.S. You know, 
Uh, I, I think I've got some tuning to do because I've got some variables. Time hashtag time zones. Uh, no, that's not gonna work, guys. Don't type time in the chat. I was I was just testing something. <laughs> don't do that. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get rid of that one right now before everybody starts doing it. They do it before they do it. All right, we're gonna. Yeah. Owner only can do that one. Okay, good. All right, right on. So, uh, what? So, what's everybody doing this weekend, guys? Everybody cooking anything? <sighs> Let's do it. Uh, 358. Okay. Now I got a guy from uh, Scotland is probably going to be jumping on here in a minute. Um, meant to. It's not going to work. I already deleted it. You guys can't do anything on it. Just type time plus and then let you know. <laughs> I just wanted to know what time it was. And talking about that, what month it was too. And I took beef tallow and I melted it down with Kerrygold butter. And talking about that, I made a compound bot tallow butter. Tallow butter. That is my idea. <laughs> hey, T-Roy, what is going on, brother? Man, I, is this true? What I heard, I said, no, man, it can't be true. What I heard, you were moving out of Texas, man. Is that true? You, you, or did you? You're moving, or you're going to? What are the two? We never even hooked up, man. We lived like ten minutes away from each other. We were supposed to burn some meat together. Very awesome to have you in my chat live, man. I, hey, awesome. Cheers to you, my friend. Cheers to you. We were talking about Google. You know, Google was saying that uh, on his last video that uh, grill marks are basically burnt as steak. I do not like grill marks. I, you know, what do you think about that, Troy? Do you think grilled, do you think grill marks on steak uh, is burnt steak because uh, Google said I don't even like grill marks because basically grill marks are burnt a steak and talking about that <laughs> I was like what what does it do say maybe in Florida it's burnt I don't know in Miami And talking about that, trumpet steak is almost ready. <laughs> I, I did some badass steaks last night, man. But because they have char marks on them, they probably would not be Guga approved. But they're Luga approved, baby. Luga approved steaks. And talking about that, I pulled a steak. It did not have any char on it. So I threw it back on the fire. And I, I smashed it into the fire and it got plenty much more char. <laughs> and then it's put some, <laughs> what, wait, I'll be back. I have to try to catch this duck and put some ass cream on it. It has a prolapse. All right, all right, all right. okay. I thought, I thought you meant ass cream like ice cream like Ben and Jerry's like Bluebell, but you're talking about actually putting some cream on a duck's ass <laughs> and talking about that <laughs> currently moving to New Mexico wow dude that's awesome well uh, that's crazy <laughs> 
Yes, sir. Cheers to you, my friend. Gumar's had flavor, but shouldn't burn the steak unless you leave it on too long. Yeah, I mean, um, uh, I don't know if you guys saw that video, but he does some steaks with some other guy, and this guy, he's pan frying a steak, right? And he throws butter in it, some garlic, some other stuff, and he's just cooking his, his steak in a pan, right? But Guga is doing his on a grill. And it's like a comparison of who cooks the better steak. It's a steak cook-off. At Guga's house. With Guga's, uh, Guga's nephews uh, doing the uh, taste test. So, you know, Guga wins. <laughs> oh, your tribe stamp? Is it a tribe stamp? What's a sexy tattoo on woman? Uh, some of the most tender steaks I've ever had was cooking it reverse sear and not searing at the end. I mean, I just cook mine hot and fast, man. I run my, my shit hot, four minutes this side, four minutes this side, and I pull it and done. That's it. I, 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 that's how I do mine. That's that's it. What does Google know? He cooks in a bag and torches of, for a sear. He cooks in a bag and torches for a sear. Yeah, those, I don't know if I would have, I can't ever do that. Like, I've seen people on their videos, like, grab, like, a propane fucking torch and just, like, they're just blasting the flame on the outside of that, like, meat. And I'm like, man, I would never do that. Like, I, 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 I would never do that. There's no way. <clears throat> Uh, we got uh, Russ saying grill marks with competitions and SCA events. Mainly, it just looks great. I think it looks great, man. A face tat is a face tattoo sexy on a woman? Really? Let me think. What what kind of tattoo do I prefer on a woman? Man, that's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> I am a speechless. <laughs> if I see your name on a woman, I'm, I'm just like, hey, man, uh, you know, come on now. <laughs> Damn, Simon. Simon been here before me, man. I, I <laughs> Oh, man. We got to uh, come eat one of Randy's steaks. Man, yeah, I, you know, I'm down. Hey, uh, guys, uh, Christine, Randy, you know, we we pretty close to each other. You guys can come up. Uh, we can set it up. We can we can cook something up here. We got plenty of cold beers to drink, some whiskey or whatever. You can't bring any guns though, because I, I live in an area where we can't be shooting anything. But if we go hang out at my brother's house, because I've got two brothers, right? I, I've got two older brothers, and if we go out to my oldest brother's house, man, we can shoot guns all freaking night. It's, it's a lot of fun out there. Let's see. A tattoo I can see only after I give her a few shots. <laughs> Man, that's a good... I'm still thinking... Oh, you know what? I got it. I got it. I think I got it. And it has to do with flip-flops. Man, if I see one on, like, on a toe, like, on, a, um, on like, a toe, on a flippy... Let's do it. <laughs> I don't know what it is about that, man. That's that's pretty odd. But you know, it's kind of crazy because I, I'm probably the only person on the planet without a tattoo. I don't have any tattoos on my body, man. Like none. I never got a tattoo. I never jumped on that whole tattoo thing. I, I just I don't know. Just never did it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Kent's name is on a dude's back. <laughs> what the hell? Send me a picture of that. I want to see that. You talking about Big Daddy? Big Daddy Dutch? Here we got Guggen. Hey, what's up? Welcome, buddy. Welcome. Chris is saying, I don't go anywhere with my gun. I don't have to shoot it, but I have to have it. Oh, I got you. Yeah. I got you. Uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. 
Yeah, 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 for sure, man. Let's do that. No, it's not a foot fetish. It's like a... It's a tattoo on the toe thing on a flippy where I'm just like... I'm just chilling like I could be drinking a beer and chilling, just cutting it up with everybody. All right, let's do it. Let's let's go ahead and flip that steak. Flip the steak one more time and I let me go get the compound butter. And then I look and I'm like, oh my goodness. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. No, not that one. Not that one. <laughs> If anybody out there has that, wow. Wow. Oh, man. <laughs> There's Stephen. Welcome back, my friend. Welcome back. <laughs> uh, we got Troy in here saying hi to Stephen. We got... Uh... Steven saying hi to Christy. Uh, Troy, so are you and uh, Mr. Homeowner going to be doing your lives again anytime soon? Because y'all were doing them there for a while. I was catching like the second half of them because you guys would like go on live like at like 4.30 or something pretty early. And we got uh... <laughs> let's see. Let me, let me share my weather with you guys. This is where I'm at. This is where my weather is. <sighs> so the weather for Trumpet. Conditions are sunny with a temperature of 53 degrees. The wind is blowing from the north at 10 miles an hour and the current humidity is at 35%. That's where I'm at, guys. That is where I'm at. That's what I'm dealing with. <laughs> Oh man, time for another cold beer, guys. This is Nightbot. If anybody ain't drinking a beer, better get it. Get it while it's hot. A drunken chef. Hey man, everything's good, man. Everything, my friend. Welcome. You got Joy say no. No telling me, Mr. Uh, Mr. Home Guy. I may go back. Oh, okay, no telling. I may go back to my old types of live sessions answering fans' questions. Man, that would be awesome. And I'm kind of disappointed we never got to hook up, man. I, I really wanted to hang out with you. We were just at Alton's last weekend, and we had a hell of a good time over there at his house. Uh, uh, CJ from Mama Papa Joe's was there. Uh, it was a lot of fun, man. We had a really good time. That would have been cool to have you up there, too. We got to drink his ever-so-famous uh, jug. Uh, that's no joke, man. That jug. Wow. <sighs> Very potent stuff. We got uh, weather. Okay, we've got drunk uh, Randy saying hi to a drunken chef. We've got Mario sharing his weather. Weather for Oxnard. Conditions are sunny with a temperature of 62. The wind is blowing from the west southwest at 10 miles per hour, and the current humidity is at 58%. What's up, Randy? I laid in bed watching that live way too late. What live were you guys on? Was this last night? Uh, T-Boy is saying cheers. He's not drinking beer. Uh, saying how to chef. There you go, President. He's not drinking beer, man. He's drinking the Presidente Brandy, which is good stuff. Uh, T. Roy. Uh, okay, everybody's saying hi to each other here. Got some spiked coffee. Don't tell Randy. What are? You, are do you guys not drink today or something? Uh, Troy saying hi to Guggen. You got to all drink one for your chef. I love the jug. Yeah, dude. The jug was no joke, man. Um, uh, the, you know, it was it was served to us uh, from Jean, and she she gave us a bottle of water with it. You know, it's like, uh, this must be some good shit. If they, if they're giving you a bottle of water with it, you know, that was awesome. 
Christy and I were gonna go to the concert tonight, but I don't feel like dealing with a crowd in Houston, so I bought ribs. Yeah, man, I'm not, I'm not crazy about big crowds like that, man. I, man, when I when I was younger, I, yeah, I was all about that kind of stuff, man. But I just, I don't know, man. I, I don't know if it's getting older. I just don't like to deal with that kind of shit. I really don't. I have a better time hanging out at my house, <laughs> like. I don't know, man. I listen to music if I need to, if I want to, when I want to. Uh, that shit doesn't cut one branch was live for 24 hours. Damn. I wonder what kind of uh, uh, watch time hours he gets for doing a 24 hour. Cottonwood's ranch. Damn. What kind, I wonder what kind of uh, watch hours he is. I think uh, Drunken Chef, if you're still in here, he did a 24-hour. And he ended up with like over 500 hours of watch time, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, a few months back. All right, take care. Nothing but love, man. Uh, Google saying hi to Russ. Got the rants. Drunken 24-hour. Oh, okay. So she did. Uh, she, did she did she do the whole thing? Man, that just sounds rough. I mean, I could probably do it, but I'd have to take like a nap. I think. Uh, what's up, uh, John? What's up, brother? Welcome. Yeah, dude. I I did. I liked it just like that too. I did the dirty, and it was the the olives and the jalapenos and the olive juice. And the, oh, dude. And the orange juice, damn, that was that was just fantastic. And we've got uh, Simon sharing his San Antonio weather. Weather for Henderson. Conditions are sunny with a temperature of 59 degrees. The wind is blowing from the south southeast at one mile an hour, and the current humidity is sweat. Man, you better be outside grilling something. You better be outside live fire grilling something. <laughs> John saying hi to Russ. Uh, Randy saying hi to John. We got Stephen saying hi to John. We got Troy saying hi to Salt and Pepper and Fire. We got uh, Russ saying hi to John. Everybody else saying hi to John. Uh, <laughs> it's a her. Did somebody say her? Okay. Let me say, uh, no. Well, maybe I said something. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Drunken Chef got over 500 hours doing his 24 hour live. That's crazy. There's my rec tech brother right here. Buzzed BBQ and Company, which I didn't know until Thursday night that you were Asian. I'm just giving you a hard time. I know you're not. <laughs> but CJ thought you were. <laughs> yeah, Christy V. Hey, but even if you were, that doesn't matter, bro. You're still rec tech, baby. What's up, rec tech, baby? <laughs> she, wow. Man, that's impressive. She's probably sleeping, huh? After all that. Yo, you want to challenge me to do the 24? Man, if I did, dude, that would be rough. I think I could do it, though. But, ain't gonna be no drinking no damn alcohol. We're gonna be chilling. Um, talking about that, maybe do some sh some screen sharing stuff. Maybe, uh, maybe sharing other channels. Uh, Let me think about that, man. That's kind of crazy, but let me think about that. I might, I might be up to something like, up for something like that. I mean, but it would be more for the fun of it, you know? Because I'm, I'm really, really far away to subscribers that I would need to be to get monetized, you know? But it's okay if it's all about watch time. Hey, and who knows? Maybe along the way, I'll pick up some more subscribers. Who knows? 
Let me think about that, though, man. I would definitely have to keep myself, like... I'll think about that. Oh, that was Area 51's weather? One mile an hour? They better be out there grilling something, damn main pins. Better be a 24-hour live. Dude, yeah, I mean... You guys would have to keep me company, though. Y'all would have to rotate and just kind of poke in, say hi, check on me, see how I'm doing, jump on my live stream, say hi, show your face, keep me company. I can't, I can't just be like sitting here live 24 hours just talking to the chat that's just rolling. Maybe I could, but maybe I don't know. But if I fall asleep during it, I mean that still counts too, right? Cooking aliens, or well, the aliens are uh, cooking humans. One of the two. I got beef bacon on now. Oh wow! Be right back. Uh, follow me on Instagram, guys. Uh, welcome to the channel. Subscribe to my channel if you're not. Uh, no, I'm definitely not Asian, but that was funny shit, though. Yeah. If you accept 77, we will talk before you do it. Yes, sir. Let me let me think about that, man. I'm I might I might be up for it. I might be up to 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 doing that. Let's see if my my guest is gonna jump on. Okay, let's just see if we got that. No, I'm definitely not. Okay, we've got that. Uh, yeah, that's something I'm really going to think about. Let me think about how I would do it, though. How I would do it. Maybe we could share the screen and just watch Google videos all night, maybe. Or just y'all's videos that we could watch all night live, you know, and get y'all's watch hours. Who would want their videos watched if I went 24? No problem with that. <laughs> yeah. Don't nobody know about that. Don't nobody know about that. It would probably be more like a mobile 24 if I did do a 24 instead of like sitting right here where I'm at right now. Uh, it would probably be me like, I don't know, driving somewhere, talking, going, doing this and that. Eventually sitting right here where I'm at and moving into this seat uh, that kind of thing you know if I did if I did a 24 I'd have to you know get uh pretty creative on on that just to just to make it just to just to you know complete the challenge you know uh, let's see <laughs> CJ Uh, cha. <laughs> What's up there, Mr. Guggen? Dropping his link if anybody wants to check him out. If anybody in the chat's not subscribed, go ahead and do that. Uh, it's actually a ho hey calling me, guys. Let's take this call together, shall we? Ho hey, can you hear me? I think when I took that call, it muted 
the live instantly. Did you guys hear any of that? Probably not. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got Duke saying hi to CJ and Simon. We got Mama and Papa Joe saying hi to Simon. We had uh, snow dusting this morning in Arkansas. Wow. Nice. All right, guys. So, um, straight up, who has been jamming the Christmas music already? Straight up. I was actually listening to something the other day while I was working here, and I, I turned on some uh, Christmas music playing on YouTube while I was working, and I was feeling very, very mighty Christmassy. You can hear me now, though, right? Can you hear me now? Yeah, it was Jorge. Jorge called me real quick. And we got doing a pan of burn hands from a pack ready a couple of days ago. Oh, on the bullseye. Nice, man. Nice. I did some steaks last night on my bullseye. Hot and fast, baby. Hot and fast. I think these I think these ribeye steaks that I did last night on my bullseye would even be CJ Yak approved. CJ Yak approved ribeye steaks on that bullseye last night, baby. Hot and fast, baby. Okay. No Christmas tree for me until after Thanksgiving. I have a melancholic marker stuck in my head. <laughs> you must have seen that movie recently. Uh, <laughs> the Griswolds Christmas. Oh, that's awesome. They don't make them. They sure as hell don't make them like that anymore, man. I was I was looking for something to watch last night, and I saw on Netflix it was like a brand new Christmas movie. It's like number one watched on Netflix. And Lindsay Lohan, Lohan, is starring in it. And, uh, man, I don't, they just don't make movies like they used to. They just don't. Like, I lost interest and I fell asleep. I'll have to try and watch it again at night if I, you know, I don't know. I don't even know if I'll do that. But, but those old school Christmas movies, <laughs> those are fantastic, man. I guess because you grew up with them, you know. Playing Christmas music for two weeks in my vehicle, and he loves it. Watch out now! Watch out now! Hey, uh, CJ, now you were talking about on your live that your dad used to make this special uh, drink in the holidays called Rompope. Is that correct? Rompope. And talking about that, did he put a stick of butter in it too? Uh, that's what my mom... No, the reason I'm asking is because that's what my mom actually calls uh, eggnog. And she makes it from scratch. She makes it in a pot and, uh, you know, she puts big, large uh, cinnamon sticks in it. Uh, I, it, it. Don't get me wrong, guys. I don't know exactly what she puts in it. But I know that it's uh, an alcoholic beverage when it's all said and done. And it's warm. And it is freaking bomb. Bomb. I love it, man. I love it. Uh oh, we've got screws in the house. You don't like Christmas music, music man? I th Come on, Niners Nation. When I see you on these lives, you, I picture you to be a real Christmassy kind of person. Am I wrong? Come on, man. <laughs> sing. Uh, I hear Guga sing Christmas songs. Oh, dude, that would be so badass if I made, like, a bullshit uh, Guga's, Guga's uh, 12 Days of Christmas album, and I'm just, like, singing uh, Christmas songs in, in his voice. Like, that would be so dope, wouldn't it? Dad, dolls, with bells of holly, fa la 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 And talking about that... <laughs> Talking about that. Dude, that'd be so great. <laughs> yeah. 
Yes, sir. Google Christmas carols. Guys, listen to Nightbot. If anybody needs to go make a pee-pee, do it. Do it. Let's all get up together and go, do it. You usually start the Christmas music and decorating on Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what we did. My, man, my kids are grown now, dude. And it's like, well, I do have a 13-year-old still. Man, it, it just, it seems like it happens so damn fast. Because we had, like, uh, just a system that, that we followed. And it was like, um, you know, the kids were, you know, little and, you know, the Christmas movies and the decorating and the whole uh, Thanksgiving thing. And, uh, I mean, we still do, like, the whole Christmas tree stuff and all that. Uh, I know a lot of people don't do that anymore, like, in the chat. Like, I know CJ ain't about that. <laughs> Somebody else would have bought that. Who? I don't remember. I remember seeing a lot of people in that chat say, nope, not anymore. I used to. Nope. Ain't got time for that. Nope. No decorating. No nothing. Uh, Lance. I think it was Lance. Lance was like, uh, no, I don't I do not do much decorating anymore, you know, or something like that. <clears throat> Check out JD McPherson Crispin, Christmas album called Socks. Is it like coquitos? I don't know. Uh, a rompo. Uh, no, he calls it uh, rompopo, a version of eggnog. So, well, my mom calls it a rompope, a rompope, and it's basically like a hot uh, eggnog that's very high in alcohol, and it's oh man, it'll keep you warm on a cold day, man. I'll tell you that it is freaking great. Got uh, Chud actually has a bunch of Christmas music offline. Well, online. I forgot where, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> let's do it. And speaking about that, let's do it. <laughs> These are my nephews. Speaking about that, let's do it. <laughs> No, uh, no kids decorating. No kids. What? No kids. No decorating. But I'm in that spirit, man. I w I don't know what it is. I am too. So like, I was met. I was telling wifey last night. I was like, come on, let's watch a Christmas movie, man. Let's watch a Christmas movie. It's like it's not even Thanksgiving yet, man. Come on. I'm like, all right. Well, yeah. I guess you're right, but. Mine are too. I'm remarried and have four step stepkids bring me 12, 16, and hell, I'm actually a grandpa. Wait, hey, man, that's awesome. I guess we'll all end up getting there eventually. Uh, I can wait though. I'm not in a rush for that. Uh, hit that thumbs up, peeps. I picked up eggnog today as well. Gonna spike it in a few. Hey, uh, CJ, at the liquor store, you can go and get that 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 Pennsylvania brand already mixed eggnog, and it's perfectly mixed. Oh my god, that stuff is so good, dude. I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go and buy some. I'll take a picture and then I'll send it to you. I'll t I'll show you which one I'm talking about. You might already know what I'm talking about, but it's already spiked and it's just ready to pour. Oh, dude, it's so good. Real good, dude. Like real good. Uh, I used to, well, you know, I, I will say this, like, I used to put, like, Christmas lights on my house, like, all around it, and then, um, we ended up getting a new roof, because the hailstorm came through here, and the insurance company slapped a new roof on my house, like, a big-ass, badass roof, and then, ever since then, like, and this was just last year, I just didn't want to hang any Christmas lights the way that I was doing, because, for one, like, the shingle that they put up there is, like, super thick, like more than what the uh the original builder did uh and i was like man you know what i think i'm okay like uh we'll do this christmas tree in the house uh maybe a little projector outside i i, I just wanted to get like a blow up like uh santa claus or something like that to put out there uh and and just do that for a decoration you know but i don't know we'll see it's for outside, right? But for inside, we still... She really gets down doing the inside thing. I mean, it's like Christmas wreath hanging on the door, or the front door and the outside, and that kind of stuff. But uh, th but that's about it. It doesn't really, like, get real, real down. Like, 
my mom, she was a real fan on doing that, you know, big time on that, on the Christmas uh, decorating and all that stuff, you know, for many years, all my life, really. But uh, so if, you know, if, if I do any of that, I'm going to be doing it at her house, right? But I mean, because no sooner when Christmas comes, it, it go, it, it's gone, and then you gotta put all this stuff down, and you gotta climb up in that freaking attic and put everything back up in there, and it, yeah, it's life, right? We're living it. It's all good. All right, I'm on. Have a blessed day. Hey, take care, drunken chef. You got my contact info now, man. Holler at me. And we got uh, that. We have got Simon saying best Christmas movie, Die Hard. That's one of the good ones. And yes, it is a Christmas movie. Uh, because it's Christmassy. It's very Christmassy. But I think I think that one of that's one of my that's one of my top five, I think. Uh, I gotta have uh, as far as Christmas movies goes, uh, it's gotta be that old school Rudolph Rudolph the Red Nosed Rainer where Rudolph is just pop locking the entire time, you know, and got that the damn uh, snowman that has got the tooth and all that, man. That that's that's a classic. Uh, and then we've got uh, that one with Arnold Schwarzenegger that I like a lot. It's called uh, oh man, we call it Turbo Man, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Sinbad's in it. That's a hilarious movie. I like that one. Uh, and then uh, that other Christmas movie we were talking about tonight. Uh, bunch of good ones out there, man. The Home Alones are good. Uh, Andy Schiff is saying uh, goodbye to Chef. Got uh, Stephen doing the same thing. Gremlins is good. That's a good one. Uh, my past is grown. Only me and Pup now. Oh, man. Check it out. Oh, are you talking about that uh, already mixed uh, uh, shit that I was talking about earlier? Really good, really good, dude. I'll be drinking that. I'll be drinking the, that here soon, very soon. Maybe even as soon as tonight. Tonight. Uh, what are you speaking with? Gotta run for a minute. All right, man. Uh, rum, or, yeah, rum is where it's at when it comes to that. But man, I'll tell you, my mom, when she makes that rompope, that warm rompope in that big old pot, she puts tequila in it, dude. Tequila. I'm talking about Ho Jose Cuervo and none of that. I don't really don't call that tequila, dude. That's like uh, watered down. I, I don't want to say watered down. Like, I have an uncle in Mexico, like, I'm probably saying too much right now, but he has his own uh, tequila farm. Uh, on the agaves. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, uh, CJ, I, I'll, I'll call you. We'll discuss things something. <laughs> that's one of that's one of my favorite uh, cops episodes that ever that I ever watched. You know, when cops was really popular, it was. Uh, and I'm not making fun of what was happening in the back seat of that car at all, guys. Uh, let me put that out there up front. But this Meskin, he was doing stuff with this with this woman in the back seat that he didn't want to. Allegedly, she didn't want to. Now, now I think that she had a menu and she put her price out there, and this Meskin paid that price, and they were, were gonna do that thing in the back seat if you guys follow me. But when the cops show up, uh she plays the, oh my God, he won't get off of me. And I'm about to get busted for prostitution. He won't get off of me, officer. And poor Maskin sitting there like, at, you know, pass half off his ass, talking about the cops come up and they're like, sir, what are you doing? Uh, excuse me, I see first, but we were yas disgusting something. <laughs> Freaking classic, but uh, <laughs> favorite all time episode, <laughs> favorite, favorite, it's a classic. We have laser projectors for the outside, nice, nice. 
sing Frosty the Snowman. Frosty the Snowman was a jolly, jolly guy. And speaking about that, with a butter nose. <laughs> Not a, not a button nose with a butter nose and speaking of that okay <laughs> oh guys guys we're gonna have to have some more time uh we're running out of time today guys i'm having a lot of fun now but uh, i appreciate everybody jumping in on chat today yes simon that's the one that's one of my favorite ones right there the old school home alone is is great too the original but when they part two did and made the made it seem like the parent can fuck it all up again uh, you know it's, uh, that's a little too much it's cool though donald trump's in the second one uh <laughs> yeah make me a list make me a list and send it to me on my instagram you follow me on insta now i'll have some fun with it man i'll have some fun with it you know i do have let me see what's the name of this program uh, Logic Pro, Logic Pro, and uh, with that, I can like create music, record music, and that that probably would be a pretty fucking good hit if you think about it. Lucas, Twelve Days of Christmas album, posted on YouTube that you guys could stream. Would it be fucking great? Who would listen to that? Wouldn't it be awesome? Like I have a mic and everything that I can record all this shit on. You know what I mean? Be a lot of fun actually now that I think about it. Beck and Dylan. Oh, nice. Uh no, punch is punch. Uh Rompope is, is just basically like a warm uh eggnog, honestly. Yeah. Punch is <laughs> punch is a completely different animal. Uh that's that that put I put that up there with the jug. Punch. Uh, planes trains yes that's a fantastic movie troy love that movie type 77530 and nightbox says the crackheads and channel music is a song so tight. <laughs> dude that is so funny i started reading that and i was like man only bottom of cool bandit would say something like that but it's randy shifter wow that is freaking funny oh guys i always thought in a fair to remember was a great I don't think I've seen that one. In a fair to remember. Hang on. I'll do screenshots, man. I'll just take a picture of the of the bench of screen. Uh, let's go. The way I can look that one up later. That is cool. I'll have to check that one out. Sounds interesting too, because a fair is in there. <laughs> okay. Troy, if you want to show your weather, just type uh, weather, space bar, and then 60455. Uh, so, let me see if there's any other uh, command that I wanted to test before I cut out. Uh, we're going to have to go here about 10 minutes. I've got... Uh, no, no. There's a few other ones that I haven't shared yet because I, I can't talk about those yet, but... It's an old movie, but worth watching. Man, I, I'm all about those older movies. For real. Weather 6455. Troy's weather is... Uh, conditions are climbing with a temperature of 35 degrees. Oh, damn, that's cold. The wind is blowing from, from the west-northwest at 10 miles an hour, and the current humidity is 61%. All right, Niners. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and call this one quit. Uh, I, I, what, I, what I've got going on, we've got a dinner to go to over at my brother's house. He's having a big cookout. Um, so that's what the plan was. That's why I jumped on live today at three versus my normal 5 PM that I would really be jumping on at this time, like right now, but I had a lot of fun hanging out with you guys tonight. Uh, but seriously, guys, send me a list of Christmas songs and I think I can make something freaking great happen. Um, I think that, uh, I think that that's a really good idea. Just uh, have a lot of fun with uh, Mr. Guga. But hey, I'm Luga. I'm not Guga. I'm Luga. But why do you call yourself Luga? Well, look at my freaking first name. <laughs> uh, 
Do y'all take care? Let's see what you guys. Randy's saying, uh, Chucky Miss Guga singing Frosty the Snowman. <laughs> and a butter nose. <laughs> and a butter nose. <laughs> oh, let's see what the weather is at the North Pole. Weather for the North Pole conditions are mostly cloudy with a temperature of 25. The wind is blowing from the east northeast at 5 miles an hour, and the current humidity is 87%. Wow. Take care, Mr. Randy. I appreciate you jumping in. Good luck on that rib cook. Enjoy those ribs. Uh, Troy missed out on most of the live. You came on early. Yeah. It's all good, man. We're going to catch it. Uh, guys, again, and you guys can share it too. I'm going to be giving away uh, three uh, uh, griddles next next week, next Saturday, next live. So you'll be seeing that. I'll be posting some of that in my community tab here on my YouTube channel. Uh, I'll also be posting it on my Instagram. I'll be going live a few other times on uh, TikTok and kind of promoting that. And uh, if you guys want a chance at winning, I'll, the rules are simple. We're going to end up having Nightbot uh, select a winner. For instance, I'm, when, I, when I drop, when I drop the command, it's this, right? All I do is drop this. Like this is just a test run, and then Nightbot would pick the winner. Uh, so I just drop that. And so I'm going to do that three different times next Saturday. And what Nightbot's going to do is he's going to select a random winner out of the money that's been active in the chat within 10 minutes, like uh, within a 10 minute window. You know what I'm saying? So like, for instance, if, you, if you've been watching and I see that it's not working right now, maybe I typed it in wrong. <laughs> or if not, we'll do, uh, that should have worked. Not that I see yet, anyway. Oh, there it is. <laughs> And there you have it. Smoky ribs would have won it. <laughs> it's freaking smoky ribs. Smoky ribs would have won the first one. That is so crazy, man. <laughs> it's freaking winning. Um, so that would have been the first one, right? <laughs> yeah, it works. So then uh, we would do another one. Let's see who does this one. All right. So all it does is it generates a random winner through uh, people that have been active in the chat within at least 10 minutes. Uh, Simon, you would have gotten one too. You know, it's kind of crazy when you really look at that because I don't know. Let's do this, or we might even do it a different way. We might even do it a different way. I was thinking that maybe I would do a, a screen share and just do a wheel of names, and then just click, you know, spin it for a winner. Uh, however, you guys want to uh, do it is fine with me because you guys are going to be the ones winning. Uh, I'm just doing it this way so that. Uh, See, Troy Troy would have uh, won that one, you know. So that would have been the three winners tonight, you know. But I'm going to be doing this next Saturday, and we'll be running this. Um, and so that's the plan for next week, guys. All right? But uh, but I appreciate everybody jumping in. Uh, had a good time hanging out with y'all. And uh, I'll see y'all when we see y'all. I'm pretty sure there's other people going live tonight. Um, I've got a. I'll be out in the country tonight, so I don't know what time I'll be back tonight. But. So that's crazy about it. It's gonna be cold, super cold, but it's all good, man. I'm gonna go hang out. So well, with that, my friends, I always say cheers to you, and I'll catch you on the next one.